In this episode, we gonna learn how to add pagination to our contact because load all contact in one page is bad and it would waste time of page loading. Uh, we have pagination here, uh, but it's just static page and we would change with Laravel pagination letter. Uh, also, we gonna learn about eloquent relationship to our model uh, show all groups in the sidebar with its number of the contact um, and we learn how to filter the contact by selected group for example when I uh, click a friends group it show the contacts that belongs to group of friends Okay, let's add pagination to our page. Uh, to do that, we don't need any other package, library, or stuff like that. A lot of all has come with built-in pagination and compatible with Bootstrap CSS framework, so we can create pagination quickly, uh, almost no configuration. Uh, first, let's open the contacts controller and here in the index method instead of get all contacts we just call page net and pass the number this number is tell the pagination how much data would be show in one page now let's go back to the dresser and roll a page as you can see here, our contacts is show just 10 contacts. And how about the pagination? It's still static HTML. Now let's open the index.blade.php and change the pagination link. Here, get rid of this line and change with contacts link. Now reload the page again. Perfect. Now let's modify the this group in sidebar. But before we do that, let's add relationship to our model. First, let's open up the group model and here in group model, uh, the group has many contacts. So here we just add method contacts and in the method we return has many contacts. Now let's open the contact model. And here the contact model is belongs to group. Here we uh, create group model and in this method we return belongs to group. Now save. Now oh yeah we need to return. Now let's test our model in console. Type PSP or Tinker. Now let's try to get all groups. Try again to get group by ID1. Okay, now let's see the relationship. Uh, get all contacts of group with ID1. Okay, now let's try count all contacts of group with ID1. Get group of contact with ID1. And get group name of contact with ID1.
Now it's time to modify the group in the sidebar. Let's open up the main.blade.php in layouts folder. Uh, normally, we load the, um, the model in controller and pass it in view. And in view, we can access the model, but it's uh, but if we follow this way, we have to do the same way in every controller, and it's not good practice. Uh, I think a lot of allows us to call mod uh, to call model directly, like so. Okay, now let's go back to browser and reload the page. As you can see here, the group is loaded from database. Also, every link is point to contact URI, an additional query string group ID. But when we click the link, it seems nothing happened. Uh, we can fix shortly. Uh, for now, Let's modify the all contact link here. Now roll the page again. Perfect. So now we have get all group and display in server link, but it's nothing happen when we click the group link. To do that, let's open the contacts controller, and here in the index method, we make a little change. So here we get group ID in query string. We query querying by filtering the contact by group ID uh, and show 10 rows in one page. And when no group ID in query string, we just show all contact and show 10 rows in one page. Okay, now let's go back to our browser again. And reload the page. Oops. Okay. Now click the group. Here the filter has worked, uh, but you can see here the active links always uh, all contacts links. So we need to make a little more change to uh, this side by our link.
Uh, here we get group ID from query string. Uh, this way is pretty much the same in context controller. But here instead of using blade syntax, I just I just use PHP syntax. Uh, I don't know how to define variable uh, in blade, but I think it would work. Now let's check in all contacts item class. So here if no group ID is selected, we set this class active. And here we check if selected group from query string is same with group ID uh, in for each. We set the class of this item to active, otherwise nothing. Now save. Let's test again. Perfect. Okay, I think it's enough for today, but before I end this video, I want to show you one more issue here. When we filter the contact by uh, click the link, and if we click the pagination, uh, it seemed to reset the selected group. Uh, how can we fix this? Uh, all we need to do is passing query string to our pagination. Uh, to do that, we have to make a little more change to index.blaze.php file. And here, instead of contact links, we call appends method and pass query string here by calling request query after that we render and that's it now roll the page again and click the pagination perfect okay that's it for today thanks for watching